is with the, uh, the main men right now. Yes, thanks, Dave. I'm delighted to be joined by Roland. Uh, just before, it's only a couple of minutes to go. Are you ready? I'm ready, but he just asked me, Hinkley FA Cup, what's all this about? I don't know anything Wayne. about football. I should never mention it, but I know uh, talk here that bad that Hinkley, it just makes me laugh. I'm Hinkley, 2-0, 2-0. Oh, just Viewers, sorry. I'm afraid they've got personal. Going. My team were beaten by a non-league side in the FA Cup last week. Thank you very much for mentioning that way. Now, let's get back to the darts. Did they get beaten? Yes, they oh, got beaten. Be Talking about getting beaten, <laughs> in the last two televised tournaments, Mr. Model, you've gone out first round. How is your form? Well, do you know what? You're getting right on what? No, seriously, uh, it's not been great. But the last couple of weeks, I've been putting in so much practice that... I deserve some rewards. I really, it's not that I deserve it, but bottom line is I haven't been great, but I'm trying tonight to rectify it. And uh, Roland's a great player, but I'm going to get to him. I'm going to get to him, I tell you. It's funny, it, it's a really close one to call, I think. Don't be silly. What do you mean close one to call? I've been being more the times on telly. It's going to be a walkover. I don't know what he's actually here for. That was a little bit Bristow-esque. Yeah, Bristow won, so that's very frightening, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, the bottom line is it's going to be a good game. And uh, if Ronan plays and I play, it will be tight. But if I play, it won't be tight, bottom it, line. It's a nice little warm-up to the, to the cha World Championships as well. It's going to be a great game, and we're fully going to enjoy it, both of us. And I know I'm going to be on top anyway, but we're fully going to enjoy it a bit. And I hope Wayne is going to play to his best ability that he can play like. And yeah, we'll be great tonight, won't it, Wayne? Okay. I hope you both play to the best of your ability because, gentlemen, you now have to go and take the stage. Thank you very much for joining us. I just hope I play like Hinkley. Thank you. Cheers. Wayne Mardle <laughs> and Roland Shelton. Dave, back to you. <laughs> tonight. This is one of the biggest games of my whole career. Two giants of the game. They're one of the biggest games. I mean, ever. This is the game that everybody wants to watch. In a showdown. The crowd are going to be electric, they're going to love it. For £100,000. This is too big of a game to lose. Two world champions. Yeah, I've got a very good chance of beating them. This is a massive, massive game. On one hockey. I mean, being field side, there's not many people who have done it, is there? This is the ultimate. To become the undisputed. And it's the two world champions, it's, it's going to be great. This is what darts is all about. Heavyweight of darts. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to make sure that I win. Taylor versus Fordham. Go down in history. Made the best by a win. Because this world is not big enough for the both of them. The key is to keep him under pressure at all times. You will not win against Phil Taylor if you don't keep him under pressure. When I play Phil, couldn't, all I could see was the board and what I had to do. So. You need, you need to be focused to play him. I haven't built my own game around Phil Taylor. I've built my game on Peter one Dark mainly. And uh, he has to put up with me, not me have to put up with him. I think my best advice would be just to uh, try and be on the attack. And, and don't feel like any given shot, if you miss it, it's going to lose the match because you're only going to get a couple. You have to think like you're going to get everything. It's the player what's playing him just to realise that they have got a chance and, and they're just lately over the last uh, um, few months that uh, people have realised that um, Phil Taylor is, he uh, can be beaten. Two world champions, there can be only one winner. It's the event, people. Here at the Circus 7 in Perth Fleet have been waiting for it's over the world championship distance. Best of 13 sets, and I've got to say, the man on the right of your picture, Andy Fordham, has more of the support. It's his neighbourhood. Taylor is his stage. He's made it his own over the last few years. Uh, John Park is alongside me. It's, uh, it's building up. And, and I was mentioning there, Fordham has the majority of the supporters here. Well, it certainly sounds like it from this side of the room, and uh, I think it's going to make for a great match, really, because I think Andy might have some doubts with having the injury a few months ago and everything else, but uh, with all this support, his adrenaline's going to be right there, he's going to want to do well, and it, it should provide for a, a really excellent match with this atmosphere. 
So, Fordham against Taylor, rapidly approaching. How do you cope with an 11-time world champion at the ultimate showdown? Do I think you can beat Phil Taylor? I think everyone thinks exactly the same. No one thinks anyone can beat Phil Taylor. Fordham plays his game and doesn't play him. He'll have just as much chance as anyone else. Phil uh, is going to be right up for it and uh, Andy's got to make a good start if he's going to stay with him. If he's at the top of his game, he is no doubt able to beat Phil. In any sport, what you want to, uh, what you want to look at, if, 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 if it's split, you want to see who's the best. Um, and there's no, there's no doubt in my mind who's, who's going to be the best. It's going to be Phil Taylor. That's what they think the big men and the big man is in the building.